Hey, what's going on, everybody? Bitverse Andy here, and today I'm super excited about the latest announcement about BitHeroes. Today, just this afternoon, was announced that there is going to be new runes, enchants, and augments coming to BitHeroes. And in fact, they're already in-game. I can confirm I checked out a couple of them, and they are in-game, ready to craft and go today. So without further ado, let's just jump right into Discord and go through the announcement. Okay, so... So here I am on Discord, you can see this is posted by Adrian this afternoon. And hey, just like I said, new runes, enchants, and augments. Now, I'm not going to read through word for word, I'm just going to go over the important stuff. Let's just jump straight into it. This, this first photo shows the first few... So let's just jump straight into it with these first three here. Adrian says, redefine your builds with additional sources of barrier, accuracy, ricochet chance, and team and rage for your hero and familiars. So just making this a little bigger, we can see a new augment pump. Now notice that this is a fully stabled familiar. You can see these are blue filled in. But when it's a fully stabled familiar, this pump gives 15% ricochet. So that's amazing for DPS familiars that want to clear whole teams. <laughs> then we have this new enchant called Tactical that gives accuracy and team and rage. Now actually jumping into the game here, if I look at the enchants, I'm gonna find out if you can get those separately. Okay, nice. So it does look like I was able to find it. You can see here team and rage on its own, ricochet on its own, and accuracy on its own. Oh, and barrier. Um, so barrier, accuracy, ricochet, and team and rage now all available in your enchants, guys. So that's really something cool. And then also, it looks like you can get barrier runes. Looks like that's one of the major runes. And yeah, here's the new ones, guys. Not only do you get the barrier rune, but you get barrier, accuracy, ricochet, and team and rage. So that is really, really nice, being able to see these already in the game. Barrier especially, very, very strong for end game tanks. Accuracy, very strong for <laughs> Going against end game tanks. Ricochet. Ricochet, this is kind of crazy. I wonder if this will open up some ricochet builds. That's interesting. And then of course, the team in rage. What's really, really nice about barrier pumps being added into the game is before there was really only a couple of barrier tank familiars in the game and barrier was, you know, you basically had to have that familiar to have good barrier. Shout out to Kimu Saba. But, <laughs> But now, with these barrier augments, this is, you could put this on any familiar you want and have, you know, if you put it in all three slots, 45% barrier. So very, very strong. This is gonna change up a lot of D4 strategies where in the past you were borderline forced to take Kimusaba because of his barrier. Now it's gonna open up the floodgate. A lot of new familiars might be able to use barrier and be viable. So that is kind of game changing. I love to see it. Moving down in the announcement, we have new skeletal linings and chips. And just looking at these ones pictured, looks like this new lining does, while above the 75% health, gain 15% more damage. And this one says, while below 25% health, gain absorb. And this one says, gain 30% block if you have the highest health on your team. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Well, that chip opens up a ton of builds. There's a lot of tank or bait tanks that you want to stack up to 100% block, right? And you have to use all three pumps to get there. But this means you might be able to sneak a pump in on something like, <laughs> hey, maybe you can use the new barrier pump because you have this new block chip on your familiar. So that is opening up real build opportunities. That is super, super cool. I love to see this come into the game. And just looking in here, it does look like there was a few new ones that are not pictured. So there used to be only eight of these skeletal linings. So they've been almost doubled it, adding seven new ones here. We have your opponent's first attack on you has an increased chance to be deflected. Um, same thing, but to be absorbed. You can see this one. This is the one that was pictured. While above 75 health, gain damage. While above 75% health attacks, you deal Oh my gosh, attacks against you deal reduced damage. <laughs> so basically damage reduction 
at high health, block at high health, deflect at low health, and absorb at low health. I think these are going to shake things up. Being able to gain things like block or any other defensive modifier from your lining, chip, and your pumps just means you're gonna have a lot more flexibility now when you're putting on augments on your familiar. So I absolutely love to see that. I think the new builds will be coming out with those. And then jumping down to the runes here, we can see pictured while at full health, gain 10% dual strike. Yo, that is going to be a new best in slot for my build. I like right away. <laughs> Dude, I love that. It's not totally crazy game breaking, but oh, they've also got one for empower. Yo, okay. It used to be just four and now there's eight. So they're literally doubling your options, guys. Honestly, random rolling just got a lot riskier, but also there's just better runes in here. My my build currently was while full health deal increased damage by 10%, but straight up 10% dual strike or 10% in power will be stronger than, than that for me. So these are so incredible. Everybody is going to be able to have 10% more in power or dual strike. Full health gain evade, full health gain deflect. This is very, very viable. I'm going to try to get myself either the dual strike or the empower one right away. This is incredible. Also, that's a funny looking rune. He's got a little bit of a face. <laughs> but yeah, these are a lot. I think a lot of people are going to transition into using these. One thing that's interesting is the old rune, full health gain 10% damage reduction versus the new rune, full health gain 5% deflect. Like, you could consider those equal because Deflect turns the damage around. But then at full health gain, 5% evade. Why'd they got to do evade so dirty here? Only 5% on this artifact rune. <laughs> so evaders get nerfed um, versus Deflect and damage reduction. That's kind of funny. Uh, moving on to the meta rune. They show while above 75% health gain, more damage. Just jumping in. I want to see if they've got other ones that they didn't picture. Oh, yeah, they do. So jumping into the new meta runes, we start off with Hannah's rune, or Hannah's. <laughs> Opponent's first attack on you, 15% chance to be deflected. Same thing with Absorb, 15% on first attack. Then we got the Birth Row rune, while above 75 health, gain 15 more damage. That is a really nice rune. I'm, I gotta really think if I want to put this on my build versus SP regeneration. Ooh, 15% <laughs> damage is strong. Uh, but moving on, while above 75% health, 15% damage reduced, that's very nice. They've got the Gijo rune. While above 75 health, gain block. While below 25 health, gain deflect. While below 25 health, gain absorb. Okay, so similar to what I was saying about the familiars, guys, if you need a source of block to finish your build, but you, you know, you're like, oh my god, I'm 30% short. Boom, new rune solved it. Like these are gonna open up opportunities for you to put other items in your builds you might be able to get away with using these runes instead now so love to see the variety come in and then we also got some new relic runes and we'll just start with the first one here bilber rune one 17.5 percent chance bizarre number um <laughs> when you hit an enemy to reduce their sp by one whoa okay so in, in theory, in PvP or even against familiars, if you have a high enough turn rate where you can hit the enemy enough times for this to proc, <laughs> in theory, your enemy might never have SP. I think in a lot of D4s, when certain enemies have crazy skills that you don't want them to use, this might be so viable. This might be so ridiculously viable just to be able to shut down enemies' big plays. Very strong new addition. Then we have 2.5% 2, 2 chance when you hit an enemy to gain shielding equal to 10% of your health. Okay, pretty low chance, but 10% of your health shielding, that's not bad. Okay, and then we have the Degala rune here. 7.5% chance when you get hit to heal yourself equal to current health. Wow, that's really nice. You could argue that that's better than the shielding one that used to exist, the wool rune which was 5% chance to gain shielding equal to 10%. Now you have a 7.5% to gain 10% of your health, but it's healing versus shielding. Shielding, you know, can get you any time healing only if you're missing health. So very interesting there. And then the last one, this Argus rune, 50% chance when you get hit to increase your damage reduction by 3% up to five times. 
So after you're hit 10 times, <laughs> you could have 15% higher damage reduction. That's kind of nice. That's really nice. You know, it builds up over time. So maybe by the time your enemies have those strong SP abilities, you might have 15% more damage reduction. Okay. So that's all of the new enchants, runes, and augments, guys. There's one last thing I think is worth noting in today's announcements, and this is technically the change log after the announcement. Um, so yes, the stuff has been added. Augment limit has been raised to 200. So if you're a power gamer, <laughs> which I am not, and you actually had so many augments, there was a lot of people who were mad about this. They would have so many augments, they would be maxed out. But so they, with the new augments, they increased this. I think a lot of people will be pleased with that. I honestly don't know why there's a limit at all. Um, <laughs> probably something to do with game stability, but really nice to see that go up. And then this last note is also very important. Um, Barrier now has a cap at 75%. Kind of tragic because I was masterminding a 100% barrier build. That was going to be the end that was going to hopefully counter a lot of the scramble egg users uh, in GVG. but. You know, literally, this is just another scramble egg buff. So, <laughs> dang. All right. But, um, yeah, that's too bad for all the 100% barriers, barrier enjoyers. But it's a good day to be a DPS player. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much all, guys. Let me know what runes, enchants, or augments you guys are going to pick up in the comments below. And I am super, super curious to see some of the new builds, especially on familiars with with all the variety being added here. So so yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. I want to take a second to thank all of my current channel members as well as my current stream boss, World Eater. Thank you so much for supporting on stream. And yeah, that's all for this one, guys. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying the new stuff being added to the game. Super, super refreshing to see this. And yeah, until next time, take care and good luck with your grind.